In this video, I'll walk through the setup and running of the new soundboard for a microphone, a projector, and an auxiliary input like a iPod, iPhone, laptop sound. So we have the mixer board here, and the first step, as always, is to turn on the power, and that'll be this switch here. And you'll just wanna make sure that everything powers up. The amplifier here should always be in the on position. The processor is on and we see the mixer board coming online now. While we're waiting for the board to come up, we'll talk about the inputs. We have a microphone input here that by default goes to the number one connection down by the stage. And I'll show that in just a minute. And then we have the input for the projector. And we have an input for an auxiliary cable, which is located right here. And you can plug this into anything that takes a mini jack, uh, whether that's a phone or a iPod, or in my case, I'm gonna plug it here into this laptop so that uh, I can use that to play some music as a example. Now, when the mixer first comes up, it can be in any configuration that someone might have saved from a previous show. So to be safe to get back to the default uh, mode, you're gonna come up here, uh, you can hit the home button, and then the scenes button, and then we'll see the scene here, MIT presentation. Uh, we'll wanna click on scenes at the top here to make sure that's selected, and we see that MIT presentations, and we're gonna click recall um, on that scene. And when that happens, you might see the faders here automatically move into position. So the first fader is up for the microphone, the main fader is up, um, and we have a little bit of volume on the projector input and the aux cable. And you can adjust any of these and we'll show how to do that as we go. So when you see the, um, the faders come into this position, you know you are ready to go with the default setup of the board. If you're using the projector, and I have it turned on right now, you'll wanna make sure that the sound from the projector is connected. So if we come over to the wall here, we see the controls for the projector. Here we can turn the projector on and off. And then below that, we have the HDMI input for the projector and the audio output. So the audio output is this cord and it follows around to the back of the mixer and it comes in uh, right here and that's channels uh, 17 and 18 and those map right here on the board. So if for some reason you're playing sound uh, through, for example, the Apple TV and it's going to the projector and not coming out, uh, you'll want to make sure these are up and that that cable is connected. Okay, I've come down here to the front of the stage just to show the uh, default microphone connection in this first position, uh, number one. And uh, I have a microphone here connected to a cord, and that of course could be going up onto the stage or in front of the stage. You can have more than one microphone connected here. Uh, by default, we have number one activated. So if you're gonna use a microphone, plug it into number one right there. One more thing to mention while we're down by the stage is turning on the speakers. So we have uh, powered speakers up here on the walls and the switch is over here on both sides of the stage. So be sure to turn both of those on. If you're using the powered speakers, um, the portable speakers here on either side of the stage, uh, be sure to turn those on and those by default should be connected down here, same place as the microphone, but here we've got the left powered speaker in the A and the right powered speaker in B. So uh, that's the standard connection if you're using those, and you'll wanna make sure that you have turned on all sets of speakers that you're going to use. And uh, finally, while we're down on the stage, we might wanna lower the screen if we're using the projector, I'm just projecting to the back psych right now, which is not ideal, but just as a reminder, if you come around to the side of the stage where the work light switches are, you'll also find the up-down 
for the screen. So you can lower the screen and we can see it coming down now. And I'll leave it down. It'll automatically stop at the bottom and when you want to return it, just press the up button and it'll send it back. All right, we're back at the soundboard and we'll go through setting the levels for the different sources. We'll start with something easy, which is I have my laptop connected to the aux input. I'll go ahead and just start playing some music from my laptop. And you can hear that coming out of the main speakers. Now, normally we'd want to keep the main slider or fader at the unity level. It's marked as U here. And then we adjust the volume of our different sources. So once again, the aux cable comes in here. Obviously I can make the sound louder or softer. What you'll notice is we have left and right here, but they're linked together. So you can move either one or both of them, they'll stay linked. The board does that automatically. And obviously if I want to take that music out altogether, I can uh, drop that down all the way. So there's my aux input. And the next thing I will show is the microphone input here. Since there's only one of me, the microphone is down at the stage end. Um, I'll go down and just talk into it quickly. Next, we'll look at the microphone volume. So I connected a microphone here and I make sure the switch is on. Check one, two, good morning, everyone at North Star or McKinley. So you can uh, see how the microphone uh, volume and you can adjust that on the mixer. And of course you can plug in additional microphones, two, three, four, for example, and we'll go to the mixer and see how those are. We're back at the mixer and we see the volume control for that first mic that I was just using. And of course that can be adjusted up or down as needed. And um, by default, uh, inputs one, two, three, four, and all the way up through 12 are connected. And so if you connect mics into these additional channels down at the stage, you can uh, simply bring those faders up and you'll have microphone volume on the additional mics that you're using. It's as simple as that. All right, the last thing to cover is the sound from the projector. So once again, to review the setup, we're back over here we have uh, turned on the projector, we've lowered the screen, and we have see that our audio is connected. And if we look out at the screen, it's down, and we can see that we're projecting, and we have the Apple uh, TV as the default input right now. So if I want to send something from my um, Apple device, of course, I can just go up and say screen sharing, and there's the MIT auditorium. Uh, Apple TV, and I can see the code is projected up there, in this case 4954, and once I enter that, then um, I'm connected, and the contents of my laptop are being displayed up on the big screen. So uh, we want to have, if we want to send audio, we'll start playing audio here, and uh, let me make sure this is playing, click play, there we go. Um, this is actually a little video that tests the balance between left and right speakers to make sure everything's coming out nicely. So back on the board here, um, we want to remember that this is our projector uh, volume here. So as I'm moving that up, I'm getting more volume out of whatever it is I'm sending up to the main screen. And uh, of course, I can take that out if I need to adjust it up and down. So there is sound and video on the projector. To wrap up, let's just go over the shutdown procedure really quick. If you wanna be nice to uh, the board, you can um, shut off the power here. So hit the home button. Um, you should see this screen, soft power, confirm power off, and you'll see the board is shutting down all nicely. Um, once that's done, then we can go ahead and turn off the power here, and then we can go to our speakers and turn off power to our house speakers up on the wall. And if we're using the uh, portable speakers, turn off the power to those as well. So the board looks like it's getting ready to turn off. 
It's now safe to power off your mixer. So we can come down here to our power switch and uh, everything is shut off and we're ready for our going home. Thank you.